Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make this tasty Swahili beef pilau step by step. Now let's get started. So the very first thing that I'll be doing is to cook this meat until it's very very tender. Add a little bit of salt to it as well so we start building the flavors from the very get go. The pilau has to be flavorful from the meat to the rice. So as the meat is cooking, I'm going to show you the rest of ingredients I'm using for this recipe. So I'm using two cups of basmati rice, some onions, pilau masala, a tablespoon of tomato paste, garlic one teaspoon and ginger one teaspoon. These are the measurements for this recipe. So for this recipe, I'll be using two and a half tablespoons of pilau masala. Now you want to heat your spice. This is what will help to release that intense pilau aroma. Please do not skip this step. Even when you're using the whole spices, make sure that you heat them first before you crush them or grind them. Even if you want to use them just whole, please do not skip the step of heating them first. So now that the meat has cooked it soft and tender, I will go ahead to add in some oil. Do not add too much or too little so that your pilau is not dry or oily. Please note that I have not transferred the beef to another sufuria or pot because we want to build and retain the flavors in the same pot. Now what we are going for is a crispy, golden, uh, brown flavor of the beef. So that's what we want. So be patient and let the meat shallow fry until we get that. So here's what I was talking about. This is the crisp uh, shallow fried flavor that we want. So you can see how the meat is looking like. So it's ready. So we will go ahead to add in the onions. So cook the onions until they are translucent. Once the onions are done, go ahead to add in the garlic and ginger. Cook them as well, but continue stirring so that they don't stick at the bottom of your pot or sufuria. So now that's done, I'm going to add in the pilau masala. Stir it for about a minute or two as well. Let it cook. Let the beef soak in the flavor from the pilau masala. Remember what you are going for is building the flavors step by step. So all these steps that you are doing are very important. So now that is done, I'm going to add in the tomato paste and I'll cook it for about a minute just to help remove that strong taste that the tomato paste has. So it's good to cook it for a few minutes. And tomato paste is optional, you can do away with it. Um, the only reason why we add tomato paste is to help uh, intensify that rich color of the pilau. So if you want to do away with the tomato paste, you can do so, but the flavor of the pilau will still remain the same. So now that has cooked, you can actually smell the beautiful pilau aroma. Go ahead to add in your rice and also don't forget to add a little bit of salt to it to flavor it because we also added some salt in the beginning to the beef. So we're just adding salt so that the rice is not tasteless. And a quick tip that I would give once you've mixed everything up and added the water, you can test the water and see if it's still tasteless, you can add a little bit of salt. Now mix everything as you can see I'm doing here then add in your water I had boiled water already so I'm adding four cups as I had used two cups of rice once that is done and you've mixed that well then cook it on medium high heat so that it simmers Once it has simmered, reduce your heat to medium low and gently push the rice so that the liquid, if there's any liquid on top, it goes in so that uh, your rice dries up on top as well. So just do this gently without stirring the rice. 
so that you don't have mushy pilau. And then go ahead to cover your rice as well so that it simmers a little bit. And now here is the rice. It's actually done, but it's still wet on the top. So what you do if you're using a jiko, you take your sufuria lid and put the charcoal on top so that the pilau dries on top. Now if you're cooking on a cooker or a maker, what you do, you can take an aluminium foil, cover your sufuria and then put the lid on top. So this will help um, it retain the heat as well so that it dries the pilau on top. So after about a minute or two, you can see that the pilau has dried on top exactly as it will if you are using a jiko. So the pilau is actually ready to serve. So you can serve your pilau with some kachumbari or pilipili ya kukangwa. Here is mine. I served with some kachumbari on the side. I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't. And I'll see you on my next one. Till next time, bye bye.